Thank you, Rashid Azuzi, for accepting uh, our invitation uh, to speak with the uh, Moroccan uh, media Le Matin. Uh, I just shall remind uh, our viewers of uh, Rashid Azuzi's career. Uh, first of all, you, you were born in uh, January 71 in um, Taunet, in Morocco, and then you moved with your family to Germany. Uh, I think the initial plan was Belgium, and then you moved to, to Germany in Mariadorf, near near the borders. And then you started playing football uh, in uh, multiple club, Mariadorf, and uh, and then you started your professional career. I think it's, uh, it was uh, FC Köln at first, and then uh, Greifert, and then a lot of uh, other clubs. Uh, MS5 Duisburg also. You started uh, your Bundesliga career as the first ever Moroccan player to play in the Bundesliga. So it was a big, uh, huge achievement. I think you also are one of the very first Moroccan players to play in uh, professional China league and uh, I also remind uh, uh, our viewers of your career in the national team. You're one of the only players who played uh, Olympic Games in Barcelona in uh, 1992 and then World Cup in the USA 1994 and then in France 1998. Then you uh, went back to, to Germany to finish your career in the Greutherfurt. And then you stopped playing, became a coach for a couple of months, and then you decided, no, uh, I want to do a more uh, ex executive role. Is that correct, Mr. Rashid? Yes, everything. Good information. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, if you if you were to to sum up all of this uh, football life, uh, what would you? You know the the points that you will uh, you will um, keep from this uh, from this long life in football. Yes, it's long life. Sometimes I think I'm I'm younger than I have truly be. Um, so um, yes, it was a, a long time now. And um, first of all, when I when I start football, I don't start because I I, I want to be a professional player or something like this because I. I start football because I love the the game and I love football. And so yes, um, when when we come to Germany, uh, first of all, it was very difficult also, you, you know, this um, immigration and um, um, to start a new life in a, another country with another culture and all of this was very difficult for my for my parents at first. Um, for us as um, uh, brothers and sisters, we, we grow up with the mentality, we grow up with the language, so it was a little bit difficult, uh, a little bit easier for us. Um, yes, we, we start first schooling, yes, uh, but uh, I think we can, we can be a good uh, or a great uh, star in football, so if at, all, at first, first of all, make school. Um, we have um, make our baccalaurea um, in Germany, Abitur, um, and um, we play football. So um, it was the um, it was the, uh, the thing that we we love, and we yes, I think we need a little bit also a little bit luck, a little bit um, yes, to be the right time on the right place, and um, yes, everything was good, and so I start professional football in Germany as the first player in the uh, Bundesliga and uh, American player and uh, also the invitation to the Football Federation of Morocco, yeah, FRFM, um, invite me for the first, um, yes, for the first game for Morocco for my hometown. Do you remember the, the first call-up when you were called to, to play with yes, the Moroccan national team? Yes, the invitation came from uh, this time. Uh, Werner Oek was a German German national uh, coach, uh, trainer for Morocco national team, and uh, they uh, they invited me in I think in December 1991, and the game was but in January 1992, and it was uh, the first game for the A national team um, in Morocco. I think we play against Algeria Alger again, and uh, yes, derby. <laughs> North African Derby and um, 
Yes, uh, so um, now um, I must ask you about uh, the actual uh, national team. They're, they're playing uh, both Sudan and Guinea for the remainder of uh, the already qualified to the playoff uh, to get to the World Cup. Uh, what do you think of this team? It's a young team. Uh, do you think we can? Uh, you know, play a big role in the uh, in African Cup and uh, maybe get to, to the World Cup for the second time in a row? I hope and I, I think, it, um, yes, the situation is very good. I think uh, we have a uh, lot of players with, with a great talent, and uh, but some experienced players also. Um, so I think we have, uh, because of all, the, the situation is now good. I think there will be number one in the group. And then you have a elimination game. This is also you need a, a good form in this in this time, and you need a little bit of luck. It's also, but I think um, the situation is very good for the for the team, and I hope yes they can go to the yes to the next World Cup in Qatar uh, 22, and um, yes for the African Cape of Nations, Morocco is all, every time. Um, a country who can make a, a, a good role in this in this tournament. Um, okay, we didn't won the tournament much <laughs> in the history, um, but I think um, yes, we have all times to. Um, uh, it is very different from from your time in the national team. Now we have uh, so many players. Uh, form and that grew up in in Europe and from abroad that generally uh, compared to your era when you were maybe the only one maybe with Mustafa Hadji and uh, I, I might forget someone but but you were uh, uh, let's say between brackets a minority in in the national team whereas uh, many of the players were formed and grew up here in Morocco uh, was it difficult for you then to you know to have this dual culture and to be the European in Morocco and the Moroccan in Europe? Yes, uh, but you know, the, the life is always difficult and uh, also a big change to, yes, um, to grow, to grow with, the, with the situations. And for me also, it was a big chance. And uh, I was very proud to, to, to get the invitation from my home country. So um, I was very happy and I don't see the, the problems or um, how it will be difficult. I see the chance, and uh, I also speak Arabic now in my um, in, in my home with my parents. So it, uh, it was not uh, yes um, from this way not too too difficult. Uh, so in this time, yes, uh, they speak French, and I have also also French in the school, but not um, not the best French. So I speak Arabic, and they understand me. Um, and where so it was also okay they see okay they come a player from germany and they also didn't know okay was the character what is the was the guy but i think um 1986 i was a great fan of moroccan football of the national team of timo mi of dormi and of all these players um they are what they were big idols for me um in football and so and then I play with Budarbala, I play with Zaki Badu the, as a goalkeeper, so I play with my idols and this was, yes, it was, uh, yes, I was very proud also. So, so everything you passed on because uh, you were playing <laughs> with, uh, you were uh, making your dream coming true. Um, I, I want to ask you, uh, uh, there, there are many players from uh, France, for example, from Spain, um, even from Italy, and, and there's only one player in the actual na national team who's Ayman Bartok, who plays for Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, why do you think there are not so many players uh, that makes it to that make it to to the top tier in Bundesliga and then to Moroccan national team? We've had some examples in in the in the past with the uh, Amsif in Augsburg, uh, Adi Shehi, and so on and so on. But but they never seem to. You know, make the cut and 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 go to the top level and uh, also join the national team. Why do you think is that? Don't have maybe the, the this only reason, but I think um, you know in uh, the mostly American 
people goes when they go to immigration they go to france because they speak the language or they go to spain portugal because it's near of morocco uh, or they go to belgium for the for the for the language um, holland also a lot of american guys so if you have more people um, uh, new generation so they the the, the the chains grow up that uh, someone plays football or comes to make a good career and um, also i think uh, germany is very difficult um, um, in in growing up uh, immigration people to be a good player i think now the last 10 years a little bit easier but in this in my time it was a little bit difficult uh, to uh, to, to go to grow up to make the next step and um, but I think uh, there are a lot of good young guys in now um, in Germany also okay they need they need to make the next next steps they need to to come um, in the in the uh, first Bundesliga and then I think they can they, can, they have a, a good chance to come to to the national team they get an invitation for the under 21 or or under 80 under 17. Um, I think um, also it's not so easy because the player grow up in Germany and a lot of, of them they don't have the, um, the bending to the to the home country yes um, maybe say okay I'm uh, will start the career in, in, in Bundesliga or a national team of Germany and uh, we have um, from um, from Leverkusen um, uh, this guy uh, you know them, the the guy from the half Moroccan, um, Belarabi. Yeah, Belarabi, Karim. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, Karim Belarabi. I think um, yes, uh, the, for him it will it was better if he go to the Moroccan national team and not to the German national team. Um, but uh, you know, he make the decision this time, and it's, it's very important, you know, to 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 know the player and um, yes, to speak with them, to to show them. Um, uh, the home country or the the national team of Morocco can be a very good option for the for for his career. Yeah, yeah there is there, there is no doubt that uh, there is a lot of pressure from from the clubs. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm speaking, for example, in 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 the Netherlands, uh, players must choose, you know, to play e either for Netherlands or uh, to avoid having an international career elsewhere, especially in Morocco, because. You have uh, African Cup of Nations. You have, th and there's a lot, a lot of pressure uh, on the players, on their family, on their entourage. And um, uh, I think this has also something to have with uh, how the Moroccan players are perceived, uh, either in Morocco or or there in Europe. Uh, uh, and and maybe this has this brings me to speak about uh, another subject that. Uh, uh, I saw you, you. You made um, a quote about uh, racism in, uh, in even in your role as executive. So people would say, uh, "Oh, this is uh, this this Moroccan guy who's managing a top club in in Bundesliga." Do you suffer? Do you still suffer from from racism? Do you think it's more important now, more present now than than before? Yes, I think so. I think um, you know racism is in the whole world. It's not only in Germany or only in Europe. I think the whole uh, in the whole world, um, racism um, and this is not good. But um, you know, it's uh, something um, that we grow up with. And uh, yes, also you must find um, solutions. You must find um, ways um, to put it out and um, uh, don't let it too much in in your your life um uh yes for the in for the national team also the the, the guys uh, they have you know they have agents and they told them okay if you play for Moroccan national team you know your 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 um, uh, transfer mark will be not be so big like if you play maybe for germany or for netherlands or for french national team i think they think a lot of not this patriotism. They look for okay, what's the way maybe for the money or for the for my for my career, you know. And um, I think a lot of agents, you know, go go this way and um, and tell him uh, yes, tell the player um, uh, how is the best way for them for their career. And this career is not you know to be proud to play for my home country. As is more um, what is the best maybe for my money and for 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 my future, you know. 
and um, I think um, it is a little bit different to to my generation because uh, okay we also want money and we also want you know to to make the best career but also I think it was um, it was clear that I I play for Morocco not for another country because I'm a Moroccan guy I uh, born in Morocco and my family are both Moroccan so um, I like the, I like Germany and I like the culture and I like everything mentality but also i know my my identity and um, um but now there are two or three generations more and you know it changed a little bit um you know racism is um to to make the way in germany you know, like in, in me, you have the chance first of all you you get the chance but i think is a uh, um, um, much you must put much more um maybe than um, in german i think mm -hmm. this is what i yes um, let, let's go back to, to, to speak about about yourself, Rashid. And uh, first of all, you, you started to to, to manage uh, like an executive in, in Greuther Fürth, and and then you went up to the Bundesliga in in 2012. But you didn't stay there, so it, it didn't make you the first executive Moroccan executive in the Bundesliga. Um, but then fast forward to, to last year, um, uh, you won the, um, the Zweite Liga and then you went to, to Bundesliga and then you became the first ever Moroccan as executive in, in, uh, in the Bundesliga. Uh, what was the difference between then and now? Um, yes, um, uh, first of all, uh, yes. Uh, it's, you know this this way is not a plan you know you 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 start and you start football and after that you start um, uh, the, the other way and um, you get um, you get experience you, you must work hard but i think um important is the quality of the work and um, of all why i change after 2012 when we go up to the first bundesliga i, I want to to know another experience i want you know to to that my personality grow up, that I make maybe mistakes and learn about the mistakes because I I was more than I think 13 years in food and I know everything. Everybody knows me, you know, and everything was okay, but it was not um, it was not um, uh, in this moment uh, for me um, to stay in the Bundesliga and to, to to go this way with the with the club um, where everything knows. So I I need a new experience and. Um, I want a new experience uh, to make a new experience, and I want a new challenge also uh, to grow up. Yes, with with the good things and with the bad things, and so I think um, this is the way of um, you have of a career of um, uh, of, uh, of working to be to be better. You make not every time everything right. You must make also faults, and uh, but you must learn. Um, uh, of the faults and uh, must must do it uh, next time better. So this is the way, and uh, this is not uh, magic. This is not everything. This is all is <laughs> always hard work. I, I think you, you must always know what is your place and what um, what what are things you can do good, and maybe in another things you are not so good. So you need then persons who who can make this better and uh, help you in this in this. Um, in this uh, this part and i think this is the right way to be successful um, um we we heard um, of course we know fc bayern munich and uh, uh we know sometimes we know augsburg <laughs> because uh, i'm just played there and uh, we know all those big clubs from from bavaria and from southern germany in general but what we don't know much about Grüterfeld. what can you say what What's, what makes it so special for Greuther Fürth? Special is that we are three times German champion, but you know it is a long time ago, so we have a big tradition. Um, in the past, um, uh, Greuther Fürth or Spielvereinigung Fürth and uh, SF FC Nürnberg, the both teams make the national team of Germany, so they have a big history. Um, you know, in the yes, in the last uh, 13, 14 years, another clubs go up and. They are better and they have okay more potential like Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Schalke, Hamburger SV. Okay, they play now second division, but they have a big potential. And um, and the uh, other clubs like Leipzig and Wolfsburg and, and Leverkusen and uh, 
Hoffenheim, they have, uh, yeah, they have uh, a lot of money because they have um, uh, investors. Yes, yeah, investors. big companies behind. Or yeah. big companies like Volkswagen or Bayer. Yeah. Um, and uh, we are in third. Okay, what is, is what is the special? I think we are a club um, who who knows um, who knows his identi identity. You know, we don't want to be uh, something what we are not to be. So um, we 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 are a young club, young club. Um, uh, so not in the with the history, young club because we I think we are um, we are not more <laughs> Yeah, we are futureness. We, you know, we are very professional, but also we are like a like a big family. Yeah, um, we know what we have and we we know what we can do. Um, we don't speak too much about us. I think we want to work with good work. The people or the others outside knows that and and and, and say, okay, this is a an, yes and an club. Um, they, they were good, but they speak too much about it. Um, is maybe for the publicity is not so good. I think maybe it's better you go outside and and uh, uh, speak about what you do. But I think um, who who are in this foot, football business now knows our club, and we are now more than 23 years in the professional league, mostly in the second division, but now two times in the first Bundesliga with a very small budget, but. Um, you know, with a with a clear philosophy and identity, um, we have young players. Um, and now we one player um, who, who we last year in the in the team are now a national team player of Germany, David Raum. He goes to Hoffenheim. Um, so I think this uh, this is the right identity. People know this is a good club. Um, can you can uh, you can grow up here? You can be a better football player and maybe. You go up with them in the first Bundesliga, or you go to another big club in Germany and make the next step in your career. So, unfortunately, Greuther Fürth is, is, is not doing so well this year in, in the Bundesliga. But uh, what is the main goal, the main objective? I, I know it can be sometimes hard to admit, but okay, uh, we're trying to get experience and then maybe moving back to Zweite Liga and then going back to Bundesliga. Maybe even stronger. Is is that the the main project in, in Greuterfeld? Yes, I think this is the this is the yes uh, the right way also for our club because we are not you know we are not uh, the club or the city to say okay we go in first Bundesliga and uh, it's, it's normal. Yes, uh, we will fight for it and uh, don't give up. Oh, but in this situation now is very difficult. Also, even you 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 lose the game like uh, a Sunday against Frankfurt. It was very very difficult, very very bad and uh, disappointed for us. But um, so we this is our club. We we stand up. We don't we don't die and fear, don't cry. Uh, maybe for for one day and then we stand up and say okay. We know our way, and um, okay, this, the, the, the actual situation is maybe not so good and is bad. But, uh, but our club uh, knows knows his identity and uh, what we want, and we want to be, you know, a serious club who, uh, who everybody knows. Okay, they they don't take money from everywhere. Thank you very much, Mr. Rashid Azuzi. Um, very pleased and honored to have you on. Uh, I would like just to ask you to, to say a, f a message to the fans in Morocco, maybe in Arabic, in, in Darija, to, to say hi to the fans. <laughs> in Darija, yeah, yeah. What do you want to say? Rani, 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 كان بغي نرجع المغرب كان بغي كل ماكلة طعام كل شيء اللي كاين شكرا بزاف سي رشيد